What's up anglers? Welcome to a new video. So many things have happened in the last uh, week and a half. Um, I have been uh, fishing uh, quite often. Um, the problem is that for several reasons I will not be able to, to show it to you. Um, first of all, one day I went very very early in the morning, completely dark, uh, before the sun rise and that day I fished two very good uh, sivas, one of them over a kilo I would say and then I fished after a cot. The problem is that I had not no light so everything in the video is completely dark, you can only hear me. Awesome guys, I don't know if you can see it, I will put it here again, the light. Uh, sivas all out of a kilogram. Awesome. First, that one is small. That one here is not even half a kilo. I don't know if you can see it now. Yeah. So, uh, be free, my friend. Oh my god. What a beautiful rainbow. That's magic. Super early, and I already made my day. Oh my god. Such a beautiful view. Another day I went um, in the middle of a storm, um, there was a window of good weather or at least a window of a weather that allowed, allowed me to, to go with in one of my favorite spots and try a bit. And the conditions were awesome for the sivas, but I fished nothing. It seems a needlefish. Is it a needlefish or very small sivas? From here, yeah, it's a needle fish. I can see it clearly from here. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh! From the mouth. Look that. Look that. Awesome. It's very difficult to hook one of those from the mouth. A lot of needle fish this year. And then two days after this storm, that was yesterday um, I was fishing for a while uh, along different spots I spent three or four hours fishing and nothing was working and then finally I fished a very nice sivas that one also it was over a kilo I would say uh, the problem is that um, the memory of my camera was already full so I thought uh, everything was recorded, but it was not. So, that's why. I will not be able to show it to you all of this, but maybe I put small clip um, while I'm explaining to you, so you can see that I'm not lying. Um, today, um, it's, as you can see, it's very calm. Um, the tide is rising. You can see that it's kind of murky water because it's rising and it's resuspending a bit the sediment. So awesome conditions all along this area here until there over there uh, very calm um, but I was wanting to fish off those rocks here towards the other side but it's gonna probably be a bit windy that's why here is so calm because the wind is not affecting this area at all and we are kind of protected by these trees here and these rocks there but anyway I will try because this spot here was where I took uh, the two sea bass um, very early in the morning and it's a spot that is working very well with minnows and so let's go there and let's try it's usually a spot that I like uh, to fish a lot during summer not that much in autumn and winter because I think that there are spots that are much better than this one and actually during winter here I never fish anything um, but this year everything is a bit late, um, the seabass is not as active as it should be, um, a lot of days it seems that we are still in summer, but yeah, I think that um, little by little the situation is changing. As you can see today I'm wearing the gloves, because um, it's the very first day that I'm feeling cold, and yeah, so that's good I guess for fishing the seabass. 
So okay, we go to the spot and I show you because I want to fish with a new expedition, uh, at least new for me, and I explain you about my lure selection a bit more. So this is the new acquisition that I was talking about. Is the duo Mino side slim, side Mino slim um, by duo. It's a very well known lure, but I never had the opportunity to try it basically because it's a very expensive lure and as you can see I found it 50% of discount and uh, let's see the color is not my favorite it's a kind of sardine um, it's basically a slim profile mino as the name points out uh, it's 114 millimeters and it weighs a bit less than 20 grams as you can see that cost almost 30 euros and I found it um, for half of it so let's see it's not a very fancy lure in terms of a, the internal weight transfer system or something like that it's just that the, this Japanese brand duo is expensive and also um, this particular model um, is very well known by the anglers that that fish the, the Chiba so yeah it's a kind of a legend in the minnows and I want to see the cast I want to see the movement a bit and let's see I usually change the travel hooks by single inline hooks but in this case because here there is not a lot of possibilities to to lose it I will keep it and let's see the cut and everything oh wow It cuts very well. Yes, yes, yes guys. Oh my god. I stopped retrieving just to say that it cuts very well and here we are. Oh, 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 oh. That's big. Oh, 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 oh guys. Oh my god. Look the rot. That's a big Sivas. I'm seeing it. Yes, that is a Sivas for sure. And in the other side. Oof, I have saved the rocks. That's a big Sivas, guys. That's a Sivas. And that's a big one. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Let me take out from here. Ah, I told you that minnows are working very well. Oh my god. Oh. Come on here. Okay. Okay, almost. Yes. 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 Check that guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Second cast with this. Now I understand why it's so famous. I will leave it here so I can show you better. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful beach. Look guys, it's almost a kilo. Awesome. It's gonna release it here. So it can stay calm here. Look how it rests below the rocks. Awesome guys! I cannot believe it. Super happy I will be able to show you something like this. Well awesome. What can I say? Second cast with this guy. That's a beautiful fever. Oh my god. I'm gonna try if there are more.